Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Manuela Locarno Jai. At TomTom, I sit on the management board and I run our product and engineering organization. I'm pleased to be here at IA Mobility to talk to you about something that has been changing faster than ever maps. Today, I want to take you beyond the traditional idea of navigation into a world where maps are intelligent, dynamic, and foundational to the future of driving. In fact, maps are no longer simple tools that help us going from location A to location B. They are intelligent systems. They are shaping how we drive, how vehicles operate, and how entire industries move. And we've all been seeing the mobility industry evolving very rapidly. Connectivity, automation, electrification, these are not buzzwords. These are new challenges that are changing our vehicles, the infrastructure, and the user experience. And of course, with new challenges, we have new opportunities to build different solutions, solutions that are not just smarter, but also more adaptable, scalable, and deeply contextual. At TomTom, we have been known for a long time as pioneering navigation. And today, we are able to enter into the autonomous driving new era because location intelligence and location data is more critical than ever. In fact, it's no longer enough for a vehicle to know its location. It needs to understand what's around it, ahead, and how the environment is changing in real time. And this is exactly where TomTom's legacy and innovation intersect. I joined TomTom about two years ago. I was drawn to the company's unique position and approach to the future of driving. At TomTom, also, we're very well known as an independent commercial map maker. And we don't just build maps, we build foundations that allow for a open collaboration and interoperability, as we believe that collaboration enables the entire industry to move forward and innovate. Also, what stood out for me is the talent of our engineering teams. I'm referring to a group of people who is not just knowledgeable about automotive and mobility, everywhere from uh, cloud systems, uh, cloud infrastructure, and embedded navigations, but also with real passion for solving these new challenges they were facing in autonomy and, uh, um, and in navigation. Now, we've been known as pioneers with the first portable navigation device to real-time traffic services, and we continue to evolve our offering to adapt to the needs of the automotive and mobility industry. And today, I'm going to talk to you about three specific topics. The first one is our new launch, a new navigation application that is pur purpose-built for software-defined vehicles. It enables OEMs to fully own a quick integration setup we're talking about a few weeks going from concept to production, and also on the end user experience, and enabling a navigation visualization experience across all screens that matches the OEM branding uh, guidelines. The second topic is Orbis Maps. This is our real-time global platform. It's at the core of everything that we do. It enables to bring rich experiences into navigation, and it's blending the convergence between navigation and autonomous driving. It allows to bring location intelligence into this new set of user experiences that we're able to see in vehicles these days. And of course, you've heard it on this stage today and yesterday, I cannot not talk about artificial intelligence in mobility. And for us at TomTom, AI is not a feature. It's foundational to everything that we do. It's built in the fabric of how we build the maps, how we deliver software services, and how we build new end user experiences. So let me dive in one by one and give you some highlights on each one of these three elements of our product offerings. The new automotive navigation application is built for software-defined vehicles, meaning that it allows for continuous upgrades. It allows to continuously operate online. It's an online first experience fully powered by our real-time services that has the fall fallback capabilities, of course, when connectivity is lost. It also provides our new map, a premium map display. It's the ability to visualize across screen a realistic 3D view of the road. And 
it comes with a set of libraries that allows the OEMs to be independent, to accelerate their, their time to go to market, their time to go to production. Those libraries allow for quick integration and also become a canvas for differentiation, as the UI of this application allows the, the, the OEMs to follow their own branding principles, their own design guidelines, uh, and really make the application fit in the, in the overall experience of the vehicle. Now, uh, we've seen, uh, generally speaking, taking a car to the road is no longer a process that requires stitching together disparate components. It's actually a new process that requires for fully integrated and, uh, and scalable solutions. And this is exactly what we aim to achieve with this new navigation application. Now, for us as TomTom, it's a big milestone. In fact, we are no longer a component provider, a component supplier to the industry. We rather operate as strategic software partners. And that takes me to the second topic, Orbis Maps. This is a unique blend of open and proprietary data, conceived and designed to support both navigation and the human driver and autonomy with autonomous driving systems. The infrastructure that brings uh, Orbis to life is a living infrastructure. It ingests hundreds of mil millions of signals continuously, everywhere from uh, sensor pings to user interactions to changes on the road. And this is how we are able to then bring together end user experiences that are much richer than before. Now, as a company, we've had the ambition to build a living map for a very long time, but only the recent developments in technology and AI are allowing us to do that. Orbis is on the road today, and we have millions of cars benefiting from Orbis, both in navigation and autonomy. And then, of course, the third element, as I said, Orbis is only possible because of the recent advancements. And I want to talk about AI, not so much as the next wave of innovation, but as something that is completely redefining what's possible. A TomTom is built in the fabric of everything that we do, from how we build maps, to how we deliver software services, and to how we enable new end user experiences. So in map making, as I mentioned, Orbis maps ingesting millions of signals continuously. It's built on an infrastructure that has capabilities that are making the map intelligent. I'll give you a couple of examples. We've built change detection systems. They are capable to differentiate between a temporary traffic congestion from a permanent road closure. It's able to understand the difference between a bike lane and a bus lane. And this is allowing us to really bring together what's possible in autonomy beyond navigation. The second element is Software development. Now, I don't want to bore you too much, but at TomTom, we have a relatively large code base. And with the introduction of Vibe coding, we cannot ignore the fact that we can make our own software development lifecycle faster and more productive. So what we've done, we've taken our most senior software engineers, and we've asked them to look at which coding agentic assistance we should deploy in which part of the code and for which use cases. And we have enabled our more junior engineers to do that as part of their job. And it's not just about coding. Everywhere in the software development lifecycle, we have Gen AI capabilities now deployed. For example, our user experience and research specialists use Gen AI to quickly iterate on concept design and our prototyping process. Our customer support specialists use Gen AI systems to process uh, issues much faster and identify solutions much, much faster, do bug triage much, much, much faster. And that allows, of course, for a reduced time to market. Now, what excites us the most, though, is not this techie stuff that AI is enabling, but it's the end user experiences. For example, our guidance and, writing ser and, and routing service today is proactive. It's no longer reactive. The guidance changes in real time based on user preferences, vehicle type, traffic patterns, weather. And all of that comes together through these online services powered by Orbis and available in our navigation application. Now, as a company, we work with the automotive industry and car makers across the globe. And we see that some of them are still working towards taking full advantage of the benefits of software-defined vehicles, while others are way into being able to deliver user-defined experiences. 
Now, we want to engage the broader developer community. We believe that the, uh, the, the power of the Orbis maps and locks is about enabling location intelligent capabilities everywhere. So we want to work with the developer community at large across industry. And for example, to be able to do that, we've recently launched the MCP server that allows for agent-to-agent -agent interactions in the emerging multi-agent architectures. For automotive, we've built a product that we call the TomTom AI agent. This is where this proactive guidance that I just described comes to life in a voice, natural interaction, uh, accessible way in the vehicle. Here we're talking about having proactive, simple, natural language interactions with the car that helps the driver stay safer. And the TomTom -Tom AI app is, of course, the TomTom -Tom AI agent is, of course, built following the same principles that we follow in map making and software development. Real time, semantic understanding, and continuous learning. Now, in closing, I want to emphasize a fact. We have entered a year, a, a year where navigation and autonomous driving are converging. And I'm not talking about replacing the human driver. I'm talking about reinventing the driver experience in a way that is safer and more intuitive. In fact, to us, it's, you know, it doesn't matter if it's the driver that is on the wheel or if it's the autonomous system that is in control. The fact is that the map is the common language that connects them both. And with Orbis map, that language is no longer static. It's adaptable, predictable, and of course, intelligent. Now, what I just shared is not a vision for 2030. This is what we're doing today. In fact, you're here at IAA Mobility. We have a booth uh, in Hall 1, I believe. Please go and visit us. Take a look at our navigation application, interact with our agent, and see for yourself what's possible. Now, for us, of course, it's important to make sure that the industry moves towards more safety. And what you will see is not just the fact that we have this voice assistant that provides cues, vocal cues to the customer proactively during the driving experience. We've also built what we call surround navigation capabilities that blends together the traditional map view with the new emerging perception view that the autonomous vehicle is creating to make not just the driver, but also the passengers feeling safe. Now with that, please come visit us, join us, because as we say at TomTom, -tom, it takes the world to map the world. Thank you.